So this is the mass spec question. It says the major peaks in the mass spectrum of two hydrocarbons, I'm going to underline that because it's important, are shown below. Compounds A and B have the same empirical formula. So if we look at the two mass spectra, there's one for compound A and compound B, and we're going to use that to work out the molecular mass of the compound. How do we do that? Well, remember we look at the peak that's furthest to the right in each spectrum. That's the M plus ion. And the M plus ion tells us the molecular mass of the compound. So, compound A, if we look, it's 40, 41, 42, which means the molecular mass of compound A is 42. The molecular mass of compound B is the peak furthest to the right, which is 55, counting up 56. And then we then need to deduce the molecular formula of each compound. So, how do I know what type of compound it is? Well, we underline the word hydrocarbon, so it only concerns the elements hydrogen and carbon. So it could conceivably be either an alkane, or it could be an alkene. So if it were an alkane, it could be methane, it could be ethane, C2H6, it could be propane, C3H8, or it could be butane, C4H10. If it were an alkene, either of these could be C2H4, ethene, C3H6, propene, or C4H8, butene. Now, for each of these compounds, we need to calculate what the molecular mass of that would be. I'm going to do that by adding up the, uh, the mass of all of the atoms in that compound. So the mass of carbon is 12, we know that from the periodic table. The mass of hydrogen is 1, so the mass of methane is 12 plus 4 times 1, which is 16. Let's add up the mass of ethane. So it's 2 carbons, that's 2 times 12 is 24, plus 6 times 1 is 6, which is 30. And if you keep going down, the mass of propane is 44, the mass of butane is 58. Now let's add up the mass of ethene. It's two carbons, which is 2 times 12, 24, plus 4 is 28. Propene is 42, and butene is 56. So let's compare these with the values we've got. We know something has a mass of 42, so compound A must be propene. And compound B must be butene, C4H8. Now if we go back, what do the questions say? Compounds A and B have the same empirical formula. So if we check, the empirical formula is the simplest ratio of the atoms to each other. So that's CH2, the empirical formula. And the empirical formula of butene is CH2 as well. So we know that we've got the right track. Good formula. It says draw the structural formula of compound A. So the structural formula of compound A, we know it's propene, is CH3, CH, double bond, CH2. 